hello students welcome to education portal so in this video we will discuss the important questions of endocrinology students this video contain most important questions of endocrinology so please share this video with your medical colleagues so they can also get benefit from it okay students. so now we are starting our video students you have to write these questions on your notebook and you have to remember these questions very well for your exams because they are very very important and they are taken from the numerous papers of various well known universities okay students so now students so now we are discussing the question by one by one so the first question of the endocrinology which is very important is hypophysial portal system students you could be asking exam what is meant by hypophysial portal system and you have to write on it students the next important question is what are the hormones of posterior pituitary gland students always remember there are two types of pituitary hormone one type of pituitary hormone are the anterior pituitary and the other type of hormones are the posterior pituitary hormones in this video it is asked in this question the the examiner is asking you about the posterior pituitary hormone so you have to write the oxytocin and adh antidiuretic hormone students always remember antidiuretic hormone is very very important hormone you should know the functions of antidiuretic har hormone and you should also know the condition which it develop from the absence of antidiuretic hormone which is the diabetes in spiders you should also know what is meant by diabetes in spiders so this is very very important question so the next important question is the action of gh the action of growth hormone is very important in the endocrinology okay students so students, the next important question is insulin like growth factors students it is the most asked question in the endocrinology what are insulin like growth factors so students the next important question are what are meant by somatostatin students what are somatostatin very very important question students the next important question which often come in your exam is the positive and negative feedback mechanism what are positive and what is negative feedback mechanism give examples always remember their examples okay students so students the next important topics is are gagnetism acromegaly and dwarfism they these all are related to the growth hormone so please remember gagnetism acromegaly gagnetism the excessive growth hormone production before adolescence and after adolescence it is acromegaly and dwarfism mean lack of growth hormone production always remember so the next important topic is the synthesis of thyroid hormone and what is the action of thyroid hormone student always remember thyroid har thyroid hormones are also very very important student the next important topic are the manifestations of hypo and hyperthyroidism students always remember hypo and hyperthyroidism are always asked in the exam of endocrinology students the next important terms are keratinism maxedema and graves disease student graves disease is the most important disease which is seen in the hyperthyroidism case always remember so the next important question is the action of calcium in our body so always remember what are the hormones which are involved in the calcium hemostasis your answer should be calcitonin and pth parath parath hormone always remember so the next important question is the role of calcitonin parath hormone and calci triolin always remember and student the next important topic is the calcium metabolism you should also remember and then the few important diseases you should remember are rickets osteomalacia and osteoporosis what are the difference between the rickets osteomalacia and osteoporosis it is always asked in the exam when there is an exam of the, uh, endocrinology the next important topic of student is the synthesis of aldosterone and they could also ask you from where the aldosterone is secreted always remember so the next important question is the action of glucocorticoid and mineralocorticoid the student the next important disease are cohn's disease cushing disease and addison disease students always remember moon like face is a feature of cushing disease it is very very important diagnostic point of view uh, can so they can give you an exam what is a moon moon like face is a feature of so you must remember cushing disease student the next important topic is a aldosterone escape you must know the definition of aldosterone escape so the next important topic is the action of insulin and glucagon very very important students both diabetes mellitus and diabetes in spiders are very very important and the action of adh i have already told you very important so student the next important is the role of estrogen progesterone and testosterone so they are very very important topic you should know what are the role of estrogen progesterone and testosterone you must remember that so the next important topic is the action of prolactin you should know that prolactin is a an anterior pituitary hormone and what is its action you must remember it so the next important are the role of git hormones git hormone you will study in the topic of git physiology with their castrin secretin cholecystokinin you must remember their roles and their names 
in order to write something in the role of GAT hormones. So the next important is the mechanism of hormone action where different pathways what are the pathways of uh, the action of hormones student is a very important question and this one the last important question which I have not included in this is the classification of hormones what are the two different type of classification of hormones this is very very important question and it has came in different exam of different various rep well reputed universities so student this, these are the very important questions of the endocrinology I hope you will remember all of these to get good marks please subscribe to education portal and share this video with your other medical colleagues so they can also get good marks in the endocrine physiology if the test of endocrine physiology team happens to them or taken by them by their sub examiner okay so give me permission to leave we will meet in the next video thank you very much thanks a lot